Hi guys, this is Ranjit. Uh, actually, I'm going to discuss about uh, a problem regarding my Surface Pro 4 because sometimes it shows uh, battery is not charging and sometimes it shows only plugged in message. So after the purchase of Surface Pro 4, this is the only, this is the first difficulty which I faced uh, several times uh, because whenever I try to s do some works, uh, accidentally the the when the power plug uh, if some uh, sometimes the work power plug will be removed accidentally so all my works will be lost so this is actually a major headache after it happens uh, after the Microsoft updates I don't know whether it is hap whether it this is the actual case but I observed that it is happening after the uh, it's happened after the updates so I found a solution and I think it's a uh, it's actually working for my surface pro so that's why I want to share it so first uh, first uh, uh, what do you want to do because first uh, you must uh, switch off the surface pro 4 completely and uh, then you must uh, click on the power button uh, it must uh, keep it in that position at least uh, shows the at least it pop up the windows logo when you see the windows logo you can release your uh, you release your plug then it will it will back on and normally it will start charging after that after this operation well once again i will explain that procedure you must unplug the charger and hold down the power button and uh, plug the charger and about 10 seconds the concept is that the the, the idea is that it must be pressed uh, up to the windows logo at up to the appearance of windows logo when the surface logo appear appears you can release the button windows logo appears so you can release the button so then it will be back to normal it the battery will again get char again charging you can see that message if it is not working then go to device manager and try to uninstall the microsoft acpi compliant control method battery this is actually this the the uh, this this solution is given in all the websites uh, uh, including the official website of Microsoft but uh, for my case it was not working so that's why I searched for other options and uh, one of the forums I found this so it was actually a good thing for me it worked for me so that's why I'm sharing and this is a screenshot of the device manager if the first thing first uh, step it is not working you can go for this one hope it will work Okay, bye. Okay, guys. Bye.